Te quiero a ti, te quiero a ti, a ti, a ti, a ti, pero te quiero a ti, te quiero a ti, a ti, a ti, a ti, a ti. Hi everyone! Another week, another travel vlog. This is the start of our five-day trip to three different countries, hence Benelux. It means Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Except we are starting our trip in Luxembourg to Belgium and then finish it off with the beautiful Netherlands. So come with us, we will show you how this trip went and this might help you in your next trip to Luxembourg, Belgium, or Netherlands. <laughs> Alright everyone, this is a room. It's a very cheap room. This is called Ibis Budget. Not cheap. It was the cheapest. It was cheaper. Luxembourg's very spendy. This was $63. Compared to if you go right next door where you checked in. The next building over, it's $120. Let's have dinner on the buffet. What the heck? Wow, what's in there? It's broken. But this is all we need because we only need a night. We have a night to sleep in and stay. And then tomorrow we have around 11 hours to explore Luxembourg city. And at 7 p.m. we have a train to catch because we are heading to Belgium in a place called Antwerp. I don't know how do you pronounce Antwerp, Antwerp. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and relax and change clothes. It's actually pretty warm. Tomorrow I'm definitely wearing shorts. I thought it's gonna be a little chilly. Both of us thought it would be a little bit chilly, but no. I'm wearing these pants. I gotta change. Day one to come before we go hammer and walk in and exploring the next day. Luxembourg is not that big, which you will see in a little bit, so we did not need much time in the city. It was also cheaper to fly into Luxembourg for some reason, that's why we chose this country first. The next day is checkout day and exploration day. We stay near the airport, so we are taking the free bus to the city. Yes, you heard it right. Luxembourg offers free public transportation. It was first introduced to curb the country's car problem. As a tourist, you can also enjoy it yourself. It's literally what we did. I also noticed that they offer free Wi-Fi that you can see in this video. Must be nice. We had some luggage with us, so to fully be immersed and enjoy the city, we had to drop it off at a luggage counter let me show you the one that we use this is literally in the central station so it was very convenient you can see some details about this luggage holder facility the hours and how much you pay for the bags it wasn't too expensive at least that's what i thought so we can go ahead and enjoy our day without dragging these bags where are we luxembourg luxembourg the city's so nice they named that for its own country <laughs> Happy birthday, my love. The walk towards the city center is already delivering some luscious greens and spectacular views. So yes, we got excited. Fun fact, did you know that Luxembourg is the wealthiest country in EU per capita and its citizens enjoy a high standard of living? So yeah, it's also expensive here. Anyways, we're here and so far, so fun. Are we having fun? Yeah, we are. All you're doing is complaining about how I'm not giving you a kiss and every time I try to give you a kiss, we'll give it more. See what happens. <laughs> I am very, very excited to walk around because I am so far a fan of Luxembourg. I'm ready to find a duck. All right, let's go. We passed by this church on our way to the center and it is one of the must-see in the city. We didn't go in but we enjoy the architecture outside and Josh need holy water. He's still acting crazy. I just let him because it's his birthday week. Luxembourg city is pretty tiny so you don't really need that much time in the city unless you really want to take it easy. In the center you will see another tourist must see and that is the Grand Duca Palace. It is the official residence of the Grand Duca family or the head of state. It's going to be a very long explanation as to what that meant so I suggest reading it yourself. It was an interesting fact to learn. 
we are walking around Luxembourg City and I actually really enjoy it. Around the Christmas tree. I kept getting distracted by Josh, so I forgot what I was about to say. Thank goodness for voiceover. Anyways, bubble tea is a must. When traveling, I pretty much have it in every city and country if they have it. Now to our favorite must-see, Luxembourg City's Old Town. It has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1994 and hailed as Europe's most beautiful balcony. This old town is very picturesque from the get-go. It made me fall in love of the city. I love when countries preserve its history and old architectures. <laughs> what is this? A car? <laughs> All right, everyone, so we found a way to go down. We just followed a group of tourists, and now we're here. We're gonna go walk there, see what's up. What we saw up there <laughs> is what we're gonna see up here, too. All right, let's go. You have all this energy. You haven't had anything to eat except for bubble tea. Because bubble tea gives you so much vitamins and energy. Well, I don't think that's true. Another favorite from this trip, and I'm glad we decided to check it out. Gran is located in the valley below the center of the city on the banks of Alzit River. It is one of Luxembourg City's oldest neighborhood, and it was quite frankly a nice experience walking around a neighborhood that gives you this medieval feel and feels like you are stepping back in time. I can see your nostril. There are so many landmarks in this neighborhood and a lot of photo opportunities. The walk, the hills, up and downs are so worth it. Don't miss out on this neighborhood when visiting Luxembourg. It is definitely a part of that old town that I have shown you a while ago. So you can take the lift down here or walk the stairs or slope. Either way, it is a pleasurable experience and I must say, you gotta do it. It is finally time to feed our hungry bellies so we chose to get some ramen because we walked a lot so we need to get them calories or carbs back. Seriously, the photos look so good outside of the restaurant so it got us. The interior of the restaurant is nice more than what I expected from a ramen place. However, what do I know? I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. Josh was excited because he can drink some beer. He ain't driving on this trip. Here's our food. The bowl is gigantic and it's quite full. Not full to the brim but a normal human being can't finish this bowl portions are definitely bigger but so as the bill but it is expected because it's luxembourg i think one bowl was 17 euros at least that's what i remembered for mine anyways the food was good i couldn't finish it but it was very filling and i'm happy about it We had some time to spare so we walk around the city one last time but check out this famous bridge also known as Old Bridge by the locals. This is also a must see. It is the viaduct that runs from the south into the city center carrying some road traffic across. As we continue to walk around the city, we came across this motto that says Miraveli Blevi Vat Merasin, which means we want to remain as we are. It means the people want to stay independent as many people have tried to dominate the country over time. So that was a really cool building to see that's part of history. As you can see, it's getting darker already, so it's almost 7 p.m. and it's time for us to head back to the city center, or not city center, the train station to get our bags or our luggage so we can wait for our train and head to Belgium. It has been a fun and full day in Luxembourg. Part of traveling is the waiting game, but good news, we got our bags, we are ready to go, and we're just chilling. We are waiting for our beautiful train. It's a train. <laughs> you are too much. You and your allergies. Hey, sister soul, sister. It's coming. You want to sit up top? On the top top? Our train is coming. Why are you hiding behind my head? <laughs> it's a train. Choo 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 choo. I lied that was in our train. Our train is this one. It came right after the yellow train, but here we are. I am ready to sit down, be comfortable because we walked a lot this day. And yeah, it's just time to move on to our next stop, which is Belgium. And I'm excited to explore another country, uh, another country added to our bucket list.
there's a stopover at Belgium. It literally took 23 minutes because it's now 7.23. The train started at 7.10 from Luxembourg to Belgium. This is not our stop yet, but it feels like a lot of people got out of here and there's only a few of us left. Mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty smart idea because it's literally very close. 23 minutes from work to home? It's free. Is it? <laughs> I was like, that's a good life right there. Everything free. Wi-Fi, bus, train. But it's not just the Wi-Fi and the bus. Look how empty this is. What do you have there? That's... Oh my gosh. I got a tuk. Tuk tuk. Made from... Belgium. Belgium. We are here. This is Belgium train station somewhere. I don't know the specific city. Can I have some? No, I need that. Uh, I can't. I just want one. I don't want to drop food. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that finger. No, no. Stop it. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I do apologize. The last part is quite boring. Also, when I'm editing this, um, I'm not feeling well and I just really need to upload something on my YouTube otherwise it would seem like I'm very inactive so I do apologize for this last part full disclosure yes I am tired while editing this but anyways on this trip we have really not much to do so we were just talking around goofing eating snacks whatever we can to entertain ourselves because it is um it's around four hours I believe and some change for this trip before we arrive at Brussels uh, at Antwerp we not Brussels, but um, Brussels is in Belgium as well, but that's not where we were. So yeah, when we arrived at Antwerp, it was around 11-ish, so we were very, very, very exhausted. But yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching again. We appreciate you, and see you on the next one. Next one would be Belgium.